Good evening, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful revolutionaries. Uh, here I am at the notorious and infamous bum lot north in the queue, moving semi quickly. Um, uh, it's me, Geo, the leader of the Rideshare Revolution, the Rideshare Rockstar, the captain of the 2K Club, and the realist, the funniest, the handsomest, and the beardedest driver on YouTube. And I'm wondering how long I'm going to last before someone spots me here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to go over a couple quick things. Um, I want to talk about the uh, Lyft versus Uber this morning in Chicago, or pretty much all the screenshots I took from today. And I want to talk about something that I find pretty upsetting on Lyft's part, and we'll go into that a bit later. So this will be a, I'll try to make this video as quick as possible. So let's go into our, into our files here. Go back. All right, as you guys, I think this might have been the first screenshot I took. This was 4.51 in the morning, as you guys can see there on both screens. So, in Chicago, it seemed like um, there was some pretty decent surge up north by Uptown. Tiny bit on the west side and tiny bit by Hyde Park. And on Lyft, there was a little bit on the west side and a tiny bit south. So, this one is about even, I would say, right? I mean... It was spread out, but not really any great, you know, surge for both apps. So let's go there. So I know I had one. There we go. Uh, this is the first one this morning. All right. So this is the first one I took this morning. So 425 in the morning, both apps. Um, that's that's Lyft. That's Uber. As you guys see, at 430 in the morning, it seems like Uber is on top. So it's right now including the, the picture I just took. It looks like right now I would say the other picture was even Uber and Lyft. This one is all Uber, I want to say. Okay. I want to make sure. 451. I got this one already. Uh, so, which one? So, I, I, this one's... Oh, let's add one after this. Sorry, this is super disorganized, guys. So apparently I did not take one at five. This was the only one I took at five. All right, um, this was at 5.35, as you guys can see there, both apps. Um, this is Lyft, and this is Uber. Looks like the surge in prime time is both in the same locations. Uh, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and say they're both about even uh, at this time in Chicago. Um, yeah, so right now, I mean, and this is actually relatively decent surge for a Tuesday morning, on, in all honesty, on both apps. So, all right, go back to that. I had some six, right? Okay, 5.54. As you guys can see there. So, 5.54, both time. Same time on both apps. Uber is surging a tiny bit in a few different places. Lyft has only a tiny bit of surge out there. And uh, so for this one at 5.53, 5.54 morning, going to have to give it to Uber here. I'm seeing, you know, not a ton of surge, but I'm still seeing some surge compared to, compared to, uh, compared to the side piece. So, all right. Like that. So that was 5.54. I had some, uh, 6.35 in the morning. Again, going to prove that this is the same time on the same apps. And seeing zero prime time on Lyft, seeing some surge on Uber. Not, I mean, nothing to keep in mind. I'm not looking at my phone the entire time. I'm completing trips or doing something like I'm not going to spend. I'm not going to update this every 15 minutes. I'm going to do it whenever I get the chance. So for this one, obviously, again, right now, Uber's in the lead. Right now, it seems like. Out of the five screenshots, Uber has has had the advantage of having more surge, more demand on the on the morning than Lyft. Okay, so that was six thirty five. Did I have any after that? Seven oh eight. Okay, so the next one was seven oh eight. I think this is when I got pinged for my long trip. So as you guys can see there. 708. This is when I was right before I was going to start my. I had a 45 minute long trip, which actually was 45 minutes out to Schaumburg this morning. 
with a uh, with a cool guy from uh, from Great Britain. So, so as you can see there, zero surge, <laughs> nowhere to be seen anywhere in on Uber or Lyft. So this one's a tie again because doesn't seem like demand went one way or the other at this for either app at this this time. So that was a 708 and 8:30. Um. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and so this one actually shows some pretty decent surge here on both apps. So 8:28 on Lyft, 8:29 on Uber. Um, this one honestly, even though there's more surge in more areas for sorry, I'm gonna go back to that one. Um, there's there's more surge coverage on Uber. I'm gonna have to give this one to Lyft because uh, Lyft is showing. 150 percent prime time which means that their demand was much higher even though their demand is in the lake what's up with that um lift what's up with that uh it's still showing 150 percent, so that means their demand was much higher at that time because i'm not seeing any 150x surge is a 2.5x on uber and there's nothing on that i mean i can without zooming in i get to go ahead and tell you on the uber side that um that there was more demand on Lyft and as you guys see there Lyft the Lyft uh there was more demand because it was deeper deeper prime time or higher percentage of prime time than the Uber search so for this one I'm gonna go go ahead and give the give the Lyft so at 8:30 uh, Lyft Lyft was higher in demand this morning so there you go um, and then I took one more. Oh. Yeah, this morning before, I, or this afternoon before I fell asleep, I checked both apps and I saw this. So, so I don't think we're gonna count this one just because this is a weird time to see surge. Um, it was twelve fifty in the afternoon, but uh, I would go ahead and say I would say this is about even. Right, even though you know what, I would give nah, I give it to I give it to Lyft, even though for some they're still surging in the lake. Um, I'm not gonna count this towards the total. Uh, because, like I said, this is noon, and just this could have just been a there was very high demand for 20, 30 minutes and then gone. So there you go. Uh, this morning, in Uber versus Lyft on a, on a Tuesday morning, uh, three to one of my screenshots. So Uber wins today. Uber beat up the side piece really, really, really well today. Uh, maybe tomorrow things will be different. We'll see. Come on, Lyft. I'm, I'm, uh, I want to see if you put up a fight. So there you go. All right. Now, um, let me go into something else. Well, how's the queue looking? 110. Nice. It's moving. Um, okay. So one of the cool things about... One of the cool things about having, like, a social media presence and having um, followers in many different areas is, like, I kind of feel like I have eyes and ears everywhere, right? And in this particular situation, uh, this one subscriber emailed me pictures of what he believes is Lyft manipulating surge in, or manipulating prime time in Chicago. Now, like I've heard drivers talk about this, I've never really seen it, or you know, I've kind of like eh, maybe, you know, not really. I don't think it's good to assume. I think it's better to ask than assume. But I get where they, they're coming from when they talk about this. Um, Sorry, the bum, the chat's blown up. All right, I get where they're coming from. Um, and then he sent me this. There was a Smashing Pumpkins concert yesterday at United Center, right? And the United Center just so happens to be right there. So, and uh, Dennis, bro, clear your notifications, huh? Man, you're killing me up there. <laughs> Um, but thank you to Dennis for sending me this email. Uh, he's, he sent me a few of these in the last couple days. Uh, yeah, I would have to agree that it does appear that Lyft is definitely manipulating primetime to the fact that they shut it off after an event because there's no reason why it would be there will be demand all around the United Center but not at the United Center after a concert. So that lets me know for sure um, Lyft is Lyft is also playing games with drivers, and, you know, and uh, anyone who drove last night and picked up anyone from the concert, 
check your fare details, you might see that the pastors were charged extra, but you you weren't paid extra. Um, the apps are known to do stuff like that. That's why. That's why it's very hard to trust the apps, honestly, because they they play games all the time. So, in this case, I will go. Ahead, I'll absolutely agree with um, my subscriber Dennis when he sent me this. The end. Thank you again for sending me this to me. Um, Lyft is absolutely manipulating prime time during events. I mean, like I said, I don't really run Lyft that often just because I make way less money. I, I cannot make the type of money I make driving for Lyft in Chicago. That's the only, in my opinion, the type, of, the type of earnings I make are only possible on Uber because they're higher in demand. And while they have been known to manipulate surge in the past, I've never seen it as kind of blatant as this. Like, they've capped it. They've definitely capped Surge in the past, but they've never killed it around an event, to my knowledge. At least not recently. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go and say, uh, shame on you, Lyft, for doing this. This is not a good move. This is a desperate move on your part to try to gain passengers and game. You're trying to gain passengers, and you're gaming drivers in the process. And that's not cool. So uh, I just want to close out with that, guys. I'm definitely going to try to have some more screenshots for you tomorrow. And uh, definitely talk to you guys next time. So I want to thank you all for watching. So please, again, always stay safe, stay driven, stay grinding, stay bearded. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.